really the only thing this government manufactures is excuses. Uh, the, reality, the reality is that the finance minister says he needs to delay the budget until he's heard from the economists. If the minister would listen, he'd hear TD Bank and now the PBO saying that he's heading towards deficit. Yet the minister insists he can balance the budget while giving income splitting as a gift to the rich and without program cuts. Now that he's heard from the economists and they're contradicting him, will he stop dithering and table a budget to clear up this uncertainty he's created? The Honourable Minister of Finance. Speaker, as I said, uh, the PBO indicated that Canada is well within the margin of being able to balance the budget, and in fact, we will do so. We will base, we will base our forecasts on the private sector, as we've always done. We will continue our plan, which is a low-tax plan for jobs and growth, and we will reject the, op the, the policies of the opposition, which would raise taxes and increase debt and burden our children and our grandchildren with today's expenses. The Honourable Member for King's Hands. Mr. Speaker, if the Minister is so sure that he can introduce a balanced budget this year without spending cuts and deliver income splitting to the rich, why doesn't he introduce the budget as usual in February? Because clearly, according to what he's saying now, there's no fiscal reason or economic reason not to do that. So is the real reason for delaying the budget to April a political one? Yeah, to yeah. table a budget, perhaps in the middle of the Mike Duffy trial, to try to distract Canadians from yet another Conservative scandal? The Honourable Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, as the Prime Minister has said, we base our decisions on the economic reality. And the reality is an instability in oil prices, which results in, in a need to get our, our information, which we will do. We present a budget once a year. We present our fiscal update once a year. We will balance the budget. We will honor our commitments to keep taxes low for Canadians, and we will reject we will reject the opposition's attempt to increase the debt and burden our children and grandchildren with today's expenditures. <laughs>